Welcome. This is a Yoga Fit Power Base class, 45 minutes. My name is Lisa. I'll be your instructor for the day. I have with me Paul and Mo, who will be uh, showing some options as we go through class. So let's all come and stand just at the top of our mat. We're stepping our heels hip distance apart, rolling our shoulders down and back. Let's close our eyes and start to connect into our breath, breathing in and out through our nose. Just starting to bring awareness into our bodies today, how we're feeling, noticing how we're feeling, both physically, energetically, emotionally. So it's really how we feel that dictates our yoga practice. And in our yoga fit classes, we always follow the yoga fit essence, which is breathing, feeling, listening to our bodies, letting go of any judgments, letting go of expectations, letting go of competition, and being in the present moment. So just enjoying our breath right now and as much as possible throughout class, let's continue to breathe in and out through our nose. What that does is it helps us be calm in the moment. It helps us stay in the present moment. So even when, you know, things start to get a little tough, a little challenging through class, let's remind ourselves of our breath. And as we move from pose to pose, our breath should always be calm and fluid. We're starting to feel dynamic energy in our body right now. We're drawing our muscles in, hugging into our bones. And on our next inhale, let's reach all the way up. And just bringing hands through heart center. And again, reaching up. Exhale, coming in. We're feeling free to close our eyes whenever we want in our practice today. As our hands come through heart center, let's gently sit back in chair pose. Inhale, stretching up, and exhale, sitting back. So we're keeping our feet hip distance apart. We're rooting down through all four corners of both feet. Our abdominals are strong. Our chest lifted. And let's stand tall, hands at heart center. Let's step out wide on our mat. So our toes are out. Knees lining up to our big toes. Let's stretch out, five-pointed star. Exhale, sink in. Inhale, reach out. If we are taking care of our shoulders today, we can also reach to the side walls. Or feeling free to stretch right up to the sky. And let's start to feel our shoulder blades wrapping around our spine like a big hug. So we're activating the muscles in our back, muscles in our legs. And let's reach all the way up. Tracing a giant circle in front of us now, moving into sunflowers. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhaling, coming through. So we always want to begin our yoga fit practice with a warm up. Creating a nice internal heat from the inside out. Our bodies are starting to respond to the movement. Let's all reach. 
reach up together, sink into sun pose. Take a moment, feeling our legs, shoulders down and back, stretching open through our fingertips. And let's bring hands back to heart center. Let's all step up to the top of our mat. And taking a big inhale to the sky, exhaling, bending our knees, folding from our hips. Let's bring one knee to the floor and the other. So we're setting up all fours. Continue to warm up through our spine. So let's make sure our knee and our hip is in line. Our wrist and shoulder are in line. Taking a big inhale through the center. On our exhale, our belly button draws up and into our spine, cat pose. Inhaling, stretching out. Exhaling, coming in. Inhaling, rolling out. Let's move our breath into the spaces between each vertebrae. And if we're taking care of our wrists today, we can also move into fist for wrists, just like Paul. Let's settle into neutral spine. Nice flat back, abdominals drawn in nice and firm, stretching our right leg behind us. And once we're nice and still, floating our left arm off the floor. Let's release down, change sides so we're flowing. One breath, one movement. Inhaling to stretch out, exhaling to lower to the floor. Let's keep our foot flexed behind us. We can always tap the floor as well. Know that we always have options. Let's even out both sides and sit back into child's pose. Reaching our hands all the way up to the top of our mat. Let's fan open through our fingers. And then let's look up and make sure that our index finger lines up to the center of our shoulders. We wanna really take care of our shoulder joint as we start to flow through this next movement. We're inhaling forward to plank, shoulders right over wrists, abdominals nice and strong. So we need to make sure here we aren't releasing too low, we're not staying too high. We're right in that sweet spot where we feel our abdominals the most. Let's move back to child's pose. Inhale, glide forward to plank pose. Exhaling, sitting back, child's pose. And again. This time as we come forward to plank pose, let's roll our shoulders back, collarbones are nice and wide, abdominals strong, let's bend our elbows just a little or maybe a little more. Exhaling, pushing up and sitting back. Inhaling forward, elbows hugging against our body, exhaling, pushing up, sitting back. So carrying our warm up now into our upper body. Inhaling forward. Exhaling, pushing up and back. This time, let's come all the way through, lay our belly right down on the floor. Send our shoulders back, lift our chest. This is cobra pose. Maybe we give a little wave to make sure our back is working. And then exhale, push up back to child's pose. Let's try that again. Inhaling, plank pose, crocodile pose, cobra pose, and pushing up and back. One more time. Let's release. Move into child's pose, tuck our toes under, and we're finding our downward dog. So index fingers still lined up to the center of our shoulder. Hands spread out nice and wide, and we're bending our knees. We're lifting our sit bones up to the top corner of the room, so pressing away from our hands. Let's slide our shoulders back, and then just pedaling our heels, one then the other, feeling a nice stretch here. Let's continue to breathe. And know that whenever 
We come to downward dog, we can also choose child's pose. Let's bend both knees, lift our sit bones a little higher, start to sink our heels to the floor. Take a big breath in, exhaling slowly. And then looking up to our hands, let's walk all the way up to chair pose. Feet, or sorry, to forward fold. Feet hip distance apart, and then we're inhaling up to the sky. And then coming into chair pose, stay here and breathe. Many options with our hands to our left to our heart center, elbows bent or straight out. Let's take a few breaths here. Inhaling, stretching all the way up to the sky, reaching through our fingertips. Let's release our hands down, roll our shoulders down and back, stretching out through our fingertips. We're moving into chest expansion here. So two options, we can keep our hands apart, really feeling strength or we can join our hands together to feel more stretch. So let's choose the spot best for us today. Breathing in and out. Let's keep our legs strong, our abdominals strong. And let's release our hands back to our sides. Inhale to the sky. Exhaling, folding forward, bending knees, folding from our hips. Let's inhale up to flat back. Exhaling, releasing down. From here, let's step right back to downward dog or to child's pose. We're gonna come through a bit of a flow series here. So inhaling forward to plank pose, knees or toes. Exhaling slowly into crocodile. Lowering right to the floor, moving into cobra, or we may also choose up dog, lifting our knees and our hips off the floor. On our exhale, let's lift up, push back, downward dog or child's pose. Two more times with our flow. Inhaling, plank, knees or toes. Exhaling, crocodile, knees or toes. Inhaling, cobra or up dog. Exhaling back. Let's try to move with our breath, inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, and exhaling. Arriving back, downward dog or child's pose. From here, let's look up to our hands, take a big step, right leg. Let's flatten out our back foot and inhale up. This is our warrior one pose, starting to get into some standing postures now. So we're really gonna start to get into the work phase of class. Shoulders are down, we can also bend our elbows or hold our hands in close, such as Paul. Let's stay here for a few breaths, really start to feel strength in our legs. So we're squeezing our muscles. Warrior two. Let's align our shoulders over our hips. Let's have a quick peek down at our front knee and make sure we can see our big toe just on the inside of our knee so we know our knee is in a safe spot. Spine nice and long. Let's open our palm, stretch forward, and lift up, reverse warrior. Let's come back through center. Let's release down to the floor. Let's move back, downward dog or child's pose. Let's look forward and step through with our left leg. Flattening our back foot, inhaling to the sky. Softening our shoulders down. Let's lengthen up through our spine, press down through our baby toes. On our inhale, let's lift and open up to the side, warrior two. So we have our left knee bent, Again, just looking on the inside of our knee to make sure we can see our big toe. Shoulders down and back, stretching through our fingertips. Front palm opens, stretching up. Let's keep lifting to the sky, stay deep in our left knee. And slowly, we come all the way to the floor. 
So here's our opportunity to power up our class or to take a little rest. If we'd like a little rest, we're gonna stay in child's pose for a few breaths. If we'd like a little extra, let's flow through plank pose, crocodile pose, cobra or up dog. And then back through child's pose or downward dog. Let's all meet downward dog or child's pose. Continuing to lift our sit bones high. Let's step through with our right leg. Let's plant our back foot down and reach to the sky. Warrior one. Shoulders down, spine long, belly strong. Let's start to notice differences in our breath, differences in how our bodies are starting to feel. Let's inhale here and exhale. Turn to the side wall, warrior two. So we're checking our knee alignment. Let's start to harness up our energy right from the arches of our feet up to our inner thighs, just right up behind our belly button. So we're nice and strong. Let's hold on to that strength, straighten our front leg, keeping a little micro bend in our knee. We're stretching out. Let's keep reaching out here for length. And bringing our hand to our shin, opposite arm to the sky. Triangle pose. So let's continue to lift up. Remember that there's nothing special about the floor. Instead, we want to stretch up, touch the clouds. Beautiful, let's sink back, warrior two. Then bringing both hands to the floor. So, checking what leg is in front here, let's bring our opposite arm onto the floor, twisting towards our knee. Big twisting lunge, knowing that we can always lower our knee down to the floor. Let's take one more breath. Exhale, release, and move back. Downward dog or child's pose. Lifting up and away from our hands. Let's make sure we're still keeping our fingers wide on the floor. That's gonna help us to protect our wrists here. Looking forward, big step through, left leg. Right foot plants down, warrior one. Softening shoulders. Again, drawing up for dynamic energy, feeling the strength in our bodies. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's also check back in with our breath. Making sure we're still breathing in and out through our nose. Now, feeling the strength of the floor beneath our feet. Drawing that strength up through our arches, through our inner thighs, all the way through our pelvic floor muscles behind our navel. Straightening our front leg, we start to reach out. Keep stretching, take a moment to hold here. Rolling shoulders back, drawing our ribs in, feeling our core strength, so we're holding our core strength as we open up to triangle pose. Again, stretching open. So with our bottom hand, we can hold on to our shin, but for extra challenge here, notice what happens when we just take the weight out of our bottom hand really forces our core, our abdominals, to work a lot more to hold this pose. Inhaling and exhaling. Let's come to warrior two. Let's bring our hands to the floor. Lifting our back heel off the floor, so we're in a nice strong lunge here. So making sure we have opposite hand to the knee that's in front, so when we exhale, we twist in towards our knee. Let's continue to press down into our big toe, keeping our front leg stable, safe. And slowly exhaling, let's release back through downward dog or child's pose. 
Once again, we are taking this time to rest or flow. Yogi's choice. So we choose either to add power or we choose to take time to rest. Please know our yoga practice is a journey. We like to say that we call it yoga practice, not yoga perfect. And that every single time we practice will be a different experience. And we will need different things. So wherever you are today, it's perfect. As long as you are listening to your body. So let's meet in downward dog or child's pose. Take a few more breaths. And let's keep firing up our core abdominals here. Let's glide forward into plank pose. Hold strong, little tuck under our navel. Let's press the floor away with our hands. And then using strength to lift up and move back downward dog. Let's glide forward again to plank pose. Hold and breathe. Of course, we can always lower our knees and then lifting up, downward dog or child's pose. One more time, let's come on through, hold here. How long can our bodies be from the crown of our head to our heels? Lifting up, moving back. This time, let's come through for side plank. So as we slide into our plank, we're either bringing our right knee to the floor directly under our hip, taking a kickstand, and rolling open. Or we are keeping both legs straight and strong and revolving. Again, we're stretching up. Gravity is trying to pull us down. We want to work against it. Find that deep, deep strength. Breathing in and out through our nose. Our breath will help us through our pose, through our challenge. One more deep inhale here. Let's exhale, release, and move through downward dog or child's pose. Take a few breaths, maybe pedaling our heels. And from here, let's glide through. And either bringing our left knee down or rolling to the outside of our left foot, stretching up. Let's do ourselves just a quick favor, a quick glance at our hand, making sure our wrist is directly under our shoulder here. So that way we know for sure we're using our abdominals rather than letting our weight sit in our shoulder joint. We're pressing the floor away from us. We're reaching our hands up past the clouds. And one more big, big breath. Let's exhale, releasing down, moving through downward dog or child's pose. And once again, a chance to rest or to flow. Yogi's choice. Remembering we can always take any options through these flows. And we can always take maybe one of the most important options, which is to rest. Beautiful. Let's meet back downward dog or child's pose. And from here, let's look forward and take a big step long on our mats and turn to the long edge of our mats. So this way our feet, sides of our feet are parallel to the side of our mats. Let's inhale, lift up through our chest here to a flat back and exhale, walking through center. Let's release down. Let's roll our shoulders out a little bit. Let's give our head a little shake no, a little nod yes. We like to end on the positive in yoga fit. Mm -hmm. Let's feel our feet rooted into the earth. Our sit bones reaching up to the sky. And let's really just let gravity do its job now. Feeling the heaviness down through our neck and shoulders. Let's slowly walk back up to the front of our mat. Let's step our back leg in. Bending our knees, inhaling up to the sky. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Let's reach up again, inhaling and exhaling. Let's 
So hopefully we're feeling nice and warm now. We're gonna do a couple balance poses, a little bit more strength, and we're gonna take it to the floor to stretch. So let's actually step our feet in a little closer together here. Sitting back as if there's a chair behind us. Not too far, just a little bend in our knee. Let's take our right leg and cross over. So we can use our toe on the floor to help us with balance here. Or we can lift our leg up and squeeze, starting to wrap our foot in behind. The important part here is squeezing through our inner thighs, which is also going to help us draw up into our deep stabilizer muscles of our abdominals. Let's take our left arm across our chest. Nice shoulder stretch. We're moving into eagle pose. So from here, we either cross both hands over chest or we tuck our right arm in and wrap. Let's soften our shoulders down, draw our elbows just away from our body as they just sink a little deeper into our legs. And of course, let's not forget to breathe. Finding our own version of stillness today. Maybe finding something to focus on on the wall in front of us. Beautiful. Let's reach all the way up. Give our legs a little shake. Bring our hands to heart center. Inhaling up again. And exhaling through. One more time. Let's bring our feet in close. Sit back just a touch. Let's take our left leg across. So again, start to squeeze through your inner, inner thighs. And those muscles there are called our adductors. We want to draw them in. Create that deep connection, scooping under our belly button. And as we find balance in our legs, starting to bring our right arm across our chest. So here we just want to enjoy a nice shoulder stretch first. Create a little space in our upper back before we get into our twisty arm part. So left arm can cross on top, and we just wrap until the space that we feel comfortable. Shoulders are down. Elbows lifting away from our body. Breathing in and out through our nose. Take one more breath here. And releasing our foot, taking a big breath to the sky. Hands through heart center. Let's release a mountain pose. And before we come to the floor, Let's take a nice standing back bend, take advantage of some of the great warmth in our body right now, and just move the opposite from coming in close to eagle pose to opening wide in a big heart opening posture. So stretching our arms back, like we're moving into chest expansion, this time we're taking fists, we're just gonna mark out through the top part of our glutes. So we wanna make sure that we're quite off of our back. We're really in the top part of our gluteus. Shoulders are down and back. Knees just a touch soft. And then pressing through our feet, finding dynamic energy again. Let's start to lift out of our low back. Squeeze our elbows together. Feel all that great space across our chest. More space to breathe. We're looking for more sensation. Still, we can bring our hands to the backs of our legs. Let's squeeze through our glutes, squeeze through our legs. And our inhale draws us back up. Let's reach up to the sky. Bend our knees, fold from our hips all the way down. Let's bring opposite hand to opposite elbow here and just release a little closer to the, closer to the floor. 
Let's relax our head right down again. A little shake, no, a little nod, yes. knee to the floor, sitting back in child's pose now. So we've made it to the floor. We can continue to stretch our arms out front. We can wrap them behind us. We can also stack our fists and just relax our forehead. Let's notice the fullness of our breath. Notice how we're feeling in this moment. And then from here, let's sit to the side of our hip. Bring our legs around. Joining the soles of our feet together. About a foot space or so between our body and heels. Let's take a big breath in. Exhale, relaxing. This is butterfly pose. Let's slowly roll it up. Bring your hands behind the backs of our legs. Let's rock back and forth so we can find our sit bones. And then lifting up tall, we're coming all of our sit bones. Floating up onto our toes. One option. One arm or one leg, second option. Or both for both pose. And then again, if we're still looking for a little more sensation, taking one arm away, maybe the other. Maybe straightening our legs. Let's find the spot where we're shaking just a little bit. So we know we're working. Lots of great work happening in our abdominals here. Let's bring our feet down to the floor. Bring our hands in behind us, fingertips forward. And then pressing up to tabletop pose, pushing down through our feet, rolling open through our chest. Let's release, we'll just do a tiny little flow here. Back up to boat pose. And then releasing down. This time let's stretch our legs straight and come up to incline plank. Releasing down, back to boat. And back to incline plank. One more time through both poses. Let's release. Bend our knees, bring our feet back in for butterfly. Let's roll it up. And let's tuck our right heel under our body, left foot flat. Let's lift up tall, make sure we can feel both sit bones so our seat is very flat on the floor. We're moving into a twist. We wanna be very safe as we move. So let's inhale first, exhale. Our belly starts to turn towards our leg, then our ribs. Finally our chest, finally our head. Another great option is Paul in his easy seated pose. And if we'd like a little more sensation without our left sit bone coming up, we can also cross over. Just give ourselves a bit of a hug here. Breathing up through our spine. Exhale, deepening into our twist. Let's inhale together, come back around to the center. Let's release. 
Give our legs a little shake. Take a big breath up and soften your knees. Hands at our sides, relaxing forward. Let's start to focus on our exhale. Allowing our body to melt in towards our legs. Rolling back up. Let's tuck our opposite leg under, left leg under. Once again, just check our sit bones, check our alignment. Inhaling tall and exhaling belly, rib cage, and chest turning towards our knee. Rolling our shoulders back, lifting tall through the crown of our head. And then again, for a little more sensation, taking our foot across, making sure our sit bone stays flat on the floor. Let's always make sure we can breathe, we can swallow comfortably in every yoga posture we do. And here, let's even close our eyes. Let's inhale tall, exhale back to center, leaning back, giving our legs a bit of a shake. Inhaling up, softening our knees, exhaling. So we're tipping forward from our hip joint, bringing our belly just to the top part of our thighs and exhaling right over. Closing our eyes, again, focusing on our exhale. Let's slowly roll on up. And let's make sure we're sitting nice and close to the edge of our mat. And we're all gonna roll onto our backs. And just gently hugging our knees up into our chest, bring your hands behind the backs of our legs. Maybe an easy rock side to side. So, coming to the end of our practice. Let's enjoy a nice hip stretch first. So bringing both feet to the floor, right ankle over our left knee, we can stay here. Or we can also lift our left leg up, bring our hands in behind our left leg, making sure our tailbone is on the floor. So we gently draw in, stay with our breath, close our eyes. Enjoying our stretch for just a few more breaths. And let's slowly release, change legs. Let's take our time, keeping our left foot flexed. Again, we can stay here or we can lift up, bring our hands in behind the back of our right leg. Maybe even using our left elbow just for a little extra leverage. Tucking our chin slightly, feeling the length of our spine along the floor. <sighs> Giving ourselves permission to relax now.
Let's take a couple more breaths. And slowly release. Gathering both knees in. From here, let's lay our feet on the mat. Let's roll our knees open for supine butterfly. Allowing our hips to settle, our shoulders to settle. You can feel free to stay here or stretch our legs all the way out. Letting our ankles and toes just roll open. Our palms roll open. So we finish our practice in our meditation just for a few minutes. Just a chance to absorb all the great work we did in our practice today. Let's feel our bodies relax into our mats. Let's gently scan through our bodies with our mind's eye. Noticing any areas we may still be holding on to. And with our breath, encouraging to let go. We're following our breath up and down our spine. Gently allowing that release to flow down our spine, our arms, our legs. Continue to feel our breath moving deeply through our bodies. In our own time, we can bring some careful movement back to our fingers, our toes. And gently waking ourselves back up. Maybe taking a big stretch. Maybe curling into a little ball. Let's slowly make our way onto our sides. Resting here. And then using our hands to push ourselves back up. Coming to a nice, easy seated pose. So just making sure that our legs feel comfortable. Let's roll our palms open. Feel the full height of our spine. Taking time to notice how we're feeling at the end of our class. And let's take a big breath together, reaching up. Hands to our heart center. Honoring and thanking ourselves for practicing today. On behalf of Paul and Mo, myself, Lisa, namaste. So thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I hope you enjoyed that class. If you enjoyed the Yoga Fit format, we have Yoga Fit classes and Yoga Fit sweat classes uh, throughout uh, our Good Life Clubs right across the country. So we hope that you'll enjoy that. Thank you so much.